Namaskar. Good morning to everyone. So Dr. J. Chaudhary and Dr. Anurag Bhatra and all the distinguished people who have assembled at this India Tech's Talent League. Happy to be here this morning. And while the anchor was reading about myself, you know, I was just remembering the recent large earthquake which hit Japan. You know, yesterday also, there is one more following the, the big earthquake. They are still waiting for the tsunami warning, you know. So it's very, very important for us to prepare our community for such large natural disasters. But we, what Japanese have achieved in some time, you know, soon after the World War II, in less than 100 years, I think that's what we are all aiming to achieve in India in a big way, not just in the natural disasters, but in every sector of uh, Indian higher education. Friends, today we are all here, assembled here for this very interesting workshop or the India Tech Talent, okay? And uh, yeah. Thank you, first of all, for having me as a guest for this Tech Talent League 2023. We're already in 2024. First of all, let me congratulate the organizers for creating such a diverse platform and I understand that this is the fourth in the series, of, uh, started from last year. And uh, to showcase the best practices in the field of uh, education, innovative AI solutions, automation, and cutting-edge technologies. Friends, the skilled technical talent is very essential for harnessing this potential, effectively ensuring its responsible development and maximizing its positive impact on the society. So all of us have heard about AI from Anurag Bhatraji, what it has really given an opportunity for us. But let me tell you my own uh, impression of the artificial intelligence in our society. Friends, uh, you know, when I joined AICT, that's the time chart GPT was sort of announced. That was last year. Okay. Chat GPT-4 came out. Then, you know, one, one evening, I was just sitting and thinking about, I just joined AICT to understand what it does. Because many of us, when Anchor told us, I understood what AICT is, I am one of the graduate. But I'll let me tell you, from my last one year, many of them have not understood what AICT does. So when recently we announced that we will also you know, um, monitor the quality of our undergraduate management education, there's a big hue and cry. They were worried why AICT is taking over. We are running this very effectively. I just wanted to tell them AIC is not taking anything. <laughs> okay? AICT is not an institution for that. AICT is all in the concept for technical education, it is a standard setting body. It's only set the quality parameters for us to evaluate in an higher education, particularly in the area of technical education. So there, you know, we are not only handheld, so we actually, as a body, started even as a 1945, as an advisory body to the government of India, then British government. In 87, when large number of engineering institutions must doomed in the country, particularly in the state of Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh then, Tamil Nadu, okay, and Maharashtra. So, 87, there was an act came in and made as a regulator. But I would like to assure you, in the last six, seven years, AICT has transformed itself to be more of a facilitator than a regulator. Because today, the education scenario is, you know, in the hands of the students and the Parents, they are going to select what kind of education they, what they want. So, friends, AICT is today, I call that as a facilitator. And coming back to the AI, 
when i was sitting you know i wanted to understand what ai ct does so let me see what these artificial intelligent models chat chat bots have understood about ai ct believe me when i asked to write it through you through about 15 20 pages of all because it's all what is there in the internet it just collab collated and threw at me back within 10 seconds so i was not very happy because i was not able to read that 10 15 pages so i said i don't know what it came to my mind i said write a poem about act covering everything believe me in 10 seconds there was a beautiful poem about act covering all its activities than better than under what i understood by that time that's a mind boggling then immediately i mean i was not satisfied that is a human being you know i said write this poem in hindi in another 5 seconds an hindi poem covering the activities of act was out there with four stanzas so what do we think about in a poet's job even if i asked a poet to write this poem he would have taken one year let me tell you why because he has to understand what act does first okay and read all the material churn it in his mind and then think about writing a poem at least 6 months if not one year okay because i remember at indian institute of science we asked dr subarayappa to write about indian institute of science history when we completed 75 years in 84 okay and in pursuit of excellence there's a book has been written by dr subarayappa a professor of english okay and he came on sabbatical for a year to indian institute of science at that time when dr sena rao was the director and he took almost a year to write that book okay so this poem really you know and also we always think that poet job comes by you know either through your genes okay and that's what we always you know quote either somebody should be the poet in your family you cannot acquire the skills of a poet but this ai tool has acquired it ladies and gentlemen so are we worried that's the question but anyway i did not satisfy there i took a delegation on semiconductor to taiwan and then you know when we visited they they for taiwanese you know taiwan is itself is not a now is not a completely independent country yet okay when we visited you know they, they thought that the big delegation has come from india and vice chancellors and then chairman of aict so they had arranged all the students project also on display one of the student project caught my attention this boy has developed a robot to play a guitar okay the music so that's i think and i have seen that in many of the institute innovation councils aict institute innovation exhibitions many of our students also does that because nowadays the development of a robot is not a big thing but what it attracted me that particular student pro- project is he has used ai to even compose the music and play that through a robot so this is much more what is some than the poet job what act for act did the ai did a poet's job by writing a poem now a musician job is also taken away by the ai is again you know please think about this the musician is again a, a, a skill which I, we thought that it could not be taken away by the machines so are we worried <laughs> so I, i completely agree with batra ji on this aspect i don't know whether he left i think he has left okay that you know this is a tool which is created by human being for the betterment of the human so i don't think we need to be worried about the artificial intelligence but what is that we need to be prepared for so ethical use of ai i think there is a, a lot of debate should happen now because otherwise the way we teach or even a computer science professor is scared today why if he gives an assignment to write a code student will submit a code written by chat gpt to the teacher You, that code is much better than what a human being can write okay at least up, as of now maybe not a very complex thing so you could see now 
the threats of ai also coming in so we need to now friends need to debate discuss what are the positive effects of ai what are the ill effects of ai and how ethically we could use the ai that's the where aacte has set up a committee to look at to address to understand how effectively we can use friends all of us all of you are here i think majority of our engineering graduates isn't it i think majority because that's where you know india has done very well because we generate about 1.4 million engineers every year okay this is not this is not this does not include the diploma graduates that's again another 1 million so i come from a institute called indian institute of technology as a director you know when i came out i was just looking at how many graduates from all iits put together come out can you take a guess 15700 graduates graduate from all the 23 iits how many graduates come out from aict institutions 1.4 million so this is the number man, ladies and gentlemen this is where we need to be focusing on the quality so that if all these are quality engineers we can be the engineers of the world okay we are already if you look at all the companies you name a company where indian diaspora has not contributed it's very hard to find a company without an indian being part of the system not only just in the lower level at the higher level in the top level so all the top ceos of top notch companies very successful companies are indian today let us see that and we have done exceedingly well in stem areas science technology engineering and mathematics and some of us have already added arts to it steam okay and then some of the iits have added m to it again you know and medicine so that you can take of take care of healthcare friends look at we have two verticals we need to really work today in india one is the knowledge creation the other one is the skill development the knowledge creation friends iits have done reasonably well in the last 20 years okay if you look at the history of indian institute of technologies all of you know how many are graduates of iit here see only one professor Uh, uh, that too he became a chief secretary of the uh, telangana government so you can see he did he never even practiced his engineering he went into administration and his contribution is among us i have read about dr j choudhury but what i'm trying to say is all our iit graduates iits were you will agree with me 1951 we started the first iit karakpur i think many of you would be surprised by 1961 we had five iits and 1994 the sixth iit born that is the indian institute of technology guwahati where i was the director seventh one was roorkee eighth one was bhu by 2002 there was a survey done how these iits are contributing to the research ecosystem in india believe me they were at the rock bottom the survey was presented in current science you can read that article and it said all publications published at that time in 2003 or 2002 one indian institute of science was much much greater than i put double greater than sign in front of indian institute of science all eight iits put together that was the story of 22 2020 2002 in 2023 iit madras has surpassed the number of publication of indian institute of science iit bombay is in the top 50 of the world iit kanpur is top innovative institutes of the world i mean at least india in nirf innovation index iit kanpur came at the top so what i'm trying to tell you is in 20 years from 2002 to 2023 these iits have become institutes of indian technologies inventive is going to be held in iit madra iit hyderabad next week on 19th if some of you have not marked your calendar 
go there and look at the innovations of the Indian Institute of Technologies. We did that last year when I was the director of IIT Guwahati at IIT Delhi, Inventive, the second, this is the third in the series. Friends, lot of positive things have happened. In the last two years, look at the companies, you know, which have become the unicorns, 110 plus. And when, I mean, Honorable Prime Minister, I heard a speech or a small bite in the video, he was talking about when in 2014, when he took over, there were 100 startups in the entire country. Today, more than 1.2 lakh startups. So, how the startups ecosystem has emerged, just like that, there is a lot of hard work done by the Ministry of Education and many of you, every one of you have contributed to that. Friends, research and innovation is going to be the focus, that's going to be the future of India and AI is going to pitch into that. AI is the future of innovation and today with huge public the digital public infrastructure we have created to the whole world. Look at, some of them are mind-boggling in even countries like America are scared of. For example, vaccination. How many crores we have done. It's all data available digitally. Okay? And Aadhaar is again a mind-boggling exercise. And the next one is going to come, watch out, is the Skill India portal. Skill India portal, if you have not seen, please watch that. It's going to integrate the entire skill ecosystem of the country. Skilling is going to be the key, ladies and gentlemen, other than the knowledge creation, which I just talked about. Okay? So, India, how it has done in knowledge creation, let me tell you. Today, we are number top five country in the world in research publications. Top five country in the patents, filing, okay, and awarding. And top three in the startup creation in the world. So we are no, I mean we are already there ladies and gentlemen, as Honorable Prime Minister keeps on telling us and reminding us, Vikasit Bharat at 2047, I don't think we need to wait up to 2047, it will be much before that. The kind of infrastructure what we are building is the world class. I got an, uh, myself associated with the highest elevated rail bridge, highest elevated rail bridge construction and completely done by Indians, okay, which is across the Chinab river, Chinab, okay, this is the, it's almost, almost ready because the other part which connects the Srinagar to Jammu is the one I am talking about, okay. Right now, you know, the trains are running up to Katra, which is the Vaishno Devi temple, many of you might have visited. But, the already trains are running in the valley, in the Srinagar valley, but the connection was not there. So, this is the bridge, Chinab bridge, which is 355 meter above the river bed level of Chinab. And the entire slope stability for 15 years, it has taken, almost 15 years. So I got associated in 2004 with this project and we were there up to 2019 till this foundation's stability. I'm a geotechnical engineer, completed that. Another classical example of infrastructure we have built is, I can go on many. So what I will tell you which is touching the hearts of every Indian, which is Ram Janmabhumi, Ayodhya temple. Because you could see, Jai Sri Ram, Sita Ram is here. <laughs> What I am saying you is, I was associated with the foundation design of that. The entire foundation was a unique foundation designed for 1000 years life. Very unique example. Okay. It's not a, an ordinary temple. Why? Because it's the aspiration of 1.4 billion people of India. And the way it has been projected now, all over the world, ladies and gentlemen, whether it is rivers of water, come from every river and every people and it has become a movement. I think whether we like it or not like it, this is the time India has one unique identity for us. So friends, today with AI being the key in front of us, innovation, learning 
access to information, personalized learning with such large digital public infrastructure. What I explained to you, three, four of them. Digital literacy becomes a very important criteria, friends. All India Council for Technical Education has taken a big step. Many of you may not know what it is doing. Because I would like you to take your time, little time. Go through the websites. Okay? This time, what we have brought a completely very, very revolutionary approval process for, away from a regulator. We opened up. So quality will survive. Quality institutions will survive. And we have brought the entire undergraduate education in management and undergraduate education in computer applications into the fold of quality. They will be working, they will be giving degrees wherever they were giving before. Their administration will be same. But the quality initiatives, whether teachers training or maintaining this standard of teacher-student ratio and then new curriculum with mandatory internship. Friends, I have to talk about two, two initiatives of AICT. One is the AICT internship portal today has more than 2 crore verified students registered on our portal. 75,000 plus companies on our own portal offering the internship. And this year approval process we made one semester compulsory internship to every engineering student of the country. Okay. And AICT second initiative was the placement portal which we have just started for the rural and tribal area engineering institutions only this year because we want to start first them so that they survive the wrath of all these bigger institutions so that they can show the placement because finally education is about employability unless there is a good employment and which we can create there is no end to whatever education we talk about is useless okay they should be a good, finally, people who are going to implement and help us. So, this is the second, and the another very important is hands-on experience for the, our kids. AICT Idea Labs we have created at 107 locations. Students are going to experiential learning. If some of you have not seen, please go and see the AICT Idea Labs. They are very unique. Students and teachers are also getting in. Our ATAL program, that is AICT's Teaching and Learning Academy is another very big initiative. So we are trying to prepare for the future, ladies and gentlemen. With the constant evolution of technology, integrating technical talent into our young kids. So we made a minor degree can be obtained by any of my engineering graduate. Whether he is a civil engineer, mechanical engineer, electrical engineer, he can get a minor degree of 18 credits to 20 credits in area of, of uh, data science, artificial intelligence, robotics. Okay? Now you can see how the future skill so, has been integrated into the curriculum. Friends, ACT has also planned to incorporate new areas like semiconductors. Actually, I, as chairman of AICT, I am the responsible person for implementation of semiconductor capacity building in the country. I, I can tell you, my institutions, more than 300, totally including, if you include the master's degree program, 600 institutions are offering programs in semiconductor. Why is this is important? Friends, as you just talked about AI, semiconductors are also pervasive, friends. It is there with every one of you today. You are carrying them. It's going to be revolutionary if you don't really reinvent the wheel on the semiconductor area. It's only some countries like Taiwan and China and they have really a market forces concentrated over today. Today what you are seeing all these tension just like what happened in the you know uh, the Kuwait war. Kuwait war is about oil and today the tensions are all because of semiconductors. I, oil is still remaining because we have seen that is happening in Ukraine as well. Friends, 
it's a, it's a golden time. Amrut call is here, ladies and gentlemen. In this Amrut call, whatever you attempt to do will become very fruitful. It's going to be realistic and you're going to be successful. We have seen Chandrayaan, Aditya L1, we were able to place a poor country which you could not feed can send these things. How is that possible? Mangalyaan is the cheapest flight mission anywhere in the world it has happened. Who are these engineers are? You ask them, including the chairman Isro, I was with him just last month. He was, he, I was privileged to actually asked by him to release his book. Okay, I was with him in the Isro headquarter. Friends, believe me, all those scientists are all from AICT institutions, not from IITs, not from NITs. So you can see, we have created a talent in the area of STEM. And this is the force to reckon with. And this talent is going to be there and we are going to be the engineers of the world by 2047. India would be developed country is the dream. It's no more a dream, ladies and gentlemen. It's the reality. We need to put hands together. All of us have to put hands together in these areas and I think this is the time and which is never there for India. 16th century belonged to whom? 16th century was the belonged to Netherlands. That's the time the sailing started. 17th century and 18th century belonged to British. Okay? 19th century after the World War II was America's time. After the COVID, it is India's time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. All the very best. Namaskar.